Welcome to part three in developing our uh, grid trading bot. In, if you're not familiar with the uh, series, uh, in the first part, we uh, developed the uh, basic software for uh, trading our bot. In the second video, we deployed and automated our bot using Linode. And in this uh, final video in our series, I'm going to be showing the results of the bot that we have built. So as you can see here, we are actually, um, well, despite this today's profit and, and loss, uh, it looks kind of big, but we are actually up about um, almost 20% on our account. Uh, we actually started with $1,000 back in uh, July 13th, and currently it is uh, August 5th as of right now. And as you can see here, we're executing trades, so the bot does seem to be working, and it seems to be profitable. That being said, uh, I do believe that most of these profits are actually from buying and holding Ethereum. Uh, what do I mean by this? Well, let's take a look at the uh, chart. As you can see, this, this was Ethereum over the past couple of weeks. Uh, we actually bought down here, uh, July 13th, right when the um, Ethereum hit this most recent low. And then soon after that, we had this huge jump in our price. Very large jump. And uh, it seems seems like it's going to keep going up. If we look at the uh, trend line, so I feel that most of these gains were just from buying and holding Ethereum and not so much uh, trading it. Uh, that being said, we do have some profits, so I think that this would need some more testing. Um, so. As you can see for this example, this is how it seems to be working. Um, but I did have to make some modifications to actually uh, get this thing to work. So here we're gonna go to our uh, our Linode server. Uh, this is what I used to uh, deploy the uh, bot. I will have a, a link to the uh, code or the uh, GitHub repository in the uh, description. So let's put that away for a second, make it a little bit easier to see. So here we're currently in the uh, grid bot um, code. So originally uh, what what I was trying to uh, do was, was run the uh, bot indefinitely inside of our Linode server. So I would just run uh, python3 gridbot.py and this would run the uh, bot until it uh, timed out. So the way I actually got around this was uh, setting up a uh, cron tab. So we do cron tab dash E and what this will do is it will actually schedule uh, different uh, scripts to uh, run. So essentially what this is saying is that every 30 minutes, we're going to call the, the new script that, that, that we are creating. Uh, I will go over this later uh, as soon as I'm done with the cron job, uh, run.py. And what this will do is basically it's going to be used to uh, check the uh, price of Ethereum and compare it to our grid lines that we set up in part one. And then soon after that, we're going to spit out the result to trade.log. So we're going to exit this. Uh, we're not going to save. That. So as you can see, that's what we would do. Um, and the reason why that I actually had to change the uh, script is because Grid, Gridbot uh, PY is originally designed to run indefinitely and only run it once. So at the start, it would actually just buy into our initial position and then it would just keep running uh, just as you would see it. So 
Let's uh, take a closer look at our grid bot QI. So if we just scroll down here, you can see that we would first call the start bot. And then um, we'll basically just keep looping in between our uh, bar data and depending on where the uh, closing price was, if it was inside of our buy or sell lines or if it was our take profit or stop loss, then we would exit our position. Uh, so the problem with this is that it would, it would time out. So I actually had to separate the uh, initial buy position with um, executing trades over time. So the way I did this was I had two separate scripts, the the uh, start.py, this is just what we would use for starting our initial position. We would just uh, call the same code that, that we had for our grid bot. And then, it, and then that would be that. And then after that, we would have our uh, run.py script. And this is what we would, we would do the uh, actual trading. So, so this is what would be, would be automated essentially. And then the uh, start.py, the uh, user would have to uh, call that at, at, at the beginning. So as you can see here, this is what would, this is what would happen. And the, uh, the next problem that I noticed when I was trying to run this bot is that the uh, lines would not, not actually detect the actual closing price. And then if I, when I took a closer look at the uh, trade log, I would notice that the um, basically the uh, price would shoot past the uh, grid lines and the code that I wrote, it would only uh, tr trigger a, a buy or sell position based on uh, if these, if, if the price was exactly equal to those grid lines rather than if it crossed it. Now, th now this, this might work if, if the code was, was run like every second, but we're doing it every 30 minutes. So it's, it's very likely that the price is going to shoot past that. So here is one example. Here we have our closing price at one, 151. Um, and here's that one fit 150. And our buy line is at 151.6. So as, as you can see here, it crosses it, but we still have uh, no purchase of, of Ethereum. Now let's close, close out of that. Uh, so the way that I actually fixed that was we can check inside of run.py. Uh, what this is going to be a little bit more complicated than what we had before. What it will do is it will actually compare the current closing price with our uh, with the with both of the uh, buy lines. It will say if um, if it is less than or equal to the previous buy line, and if it is greater than or equal to the current buy line, then we'll see if. Um, if we already executed that uh, trade, and if not, then what we're going to do is we're basically going to execute a long position. And this, this will work the uh, same way with our, um, with our cell lines. Uh, the, the only difference is that the, uh, it's going to be greater than or equal to and less than or, or uh, equal to, and then it will also enter a short position. And lastly, we'll also change our take profit and stop loss levels. So uh, the price has to be exactly equal to it. It just has to go past it. And that's what I, th those are the uh, changes that I made and the bot seems to be running uh, pretty well. Um, I still wouldn't run this with actual money. I think a lot of these gains were just from, uh, being lucky. I, uh, I ran this at, at, at a very good time. Um, 
the way I, I think I would fix this is I would probably tighten up the uh, buy and sell lines um, and I would do some more forward testing with the uh, paper trading option. Uh, that being said, thank you for watching the video. Uh